I slipped out of the reeds, hungrily eyeing my target. Sniper fire was non-stop to my left. The sounds of the rockets completed this symphony of chaos. I furtively approached. Does he see me? Oh! Oh, they're raiding the raid base! Ah! I clung to the shadows. With no weapon, secrecy was my only option, and complete darkness was now enveloping this hectic raid. There's a body here. The strange gargled cries of other players running around filled the air, but I was silent and focused. I knew that someone around here would have some loot. But I would never have expected this. But we'll get to that. Let's start with how I began. I spawned into the server, hit a tree with a rock, hit a rock with a rock, turned the tree and the rock into a hatchet, then hit another tree, then turned that tree into a pickaxe, and then had some deep reflections. I want to like pickles, but I don't like them, because it's they're cool. It's an interesting thing. You throw a freaking cucumber in a bunch of vinegar and you're like, pickle. I next crafted a bow and did some hunting. That's right. Oh, you guys want to see a gamer move? Nothing personal, kid. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boy. What do you smell? Man flesh. I ran along a verdant river that found an interesting little divot in a cliff by the coast. What if I become a cliff dweller? Ooh! I decided I would put down a base here and build into the side of the rock. All right, there's a man. I just want to freaking build. Fuck! You don't mess with me, buddy. After that crispy headshot, he didn't appear again. So I got back to work on building. Please don't do it. No. Please, hello. Friendly gamer. What if he just marked it for a precision airstrike? Oh no. I put away my extra resources, then relaxed over the nighttime. And it's morning. Beautiful timing, folks. Please, no. No, man. Please. Stand and fight, knave! Bonk. Another pesky player had fled from me. I wasn't getting their loot, but at least they were backing away. Now, I was setting down a sleeping bag just upriver from my home when I started hearing them. I steer... That is a big rocket raid. Let's go. There were a lot of rockets being launched, so I decided to investigate. Now before we continue, I want to thank AFK Arena for sponsoring this video. AFK Arena is a strategic RPG mobile game with a very aesthetic fresco-like visual style, and the game just launched a brand new card battler mode called War of Wits. Now War of Wits is a real-time PvP competitive card game based on AFK characters and lore. You need to be strategic and smart, choosing the right combination of heroes and relics to make a powerful team so you can beat your opponent. You're able to pick from 24 relics and 80 hero cards representing four separate factions, and each faction provides special abilities with relics that can tilt the game in your favor. And their effects can be accumulated, so be sure to choose wisely because your tactical choices can mean the difference between victory and defeat. And both players draw from a random deck with equally leveled heroes, making it a fair game. And use this gift code in-game to get 30 faction scrolls and 3,000 diamonds. And while you're there, you can find the link to download AFK. You'll also see a progress bar that shows how many people in the community have already downloaded AFK. So go give AFK Arena and the new War of Wits game mode a try today using the link in the description. It helps out my channel. Now let's get back to our story. I'd heard a lot of rockets being fired, so I was running over to check it out. Boom. Boom. Double launcher raid. Triple launcher. Quadruple launcher. What is going on? Okay, so I think these guys are raiding those guys. I'm gonna die if I run in here. Let's get to the rock. As I approached, I realized the massive scope of this raid I was observing. He is gonna kill me. There was a raid base here, as well as the enormous base being targeted, and it looked like a large hole was already blown into the side. Oh! Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. If I could get to this little base here, this is a good moment to push. I darted across the open area to a decaying structure to hide, and potentially strike at the perfect moment. Ah! There were geared bodies littering the ground. Okay, this, this, if I had like five bags here, I could do something. My window of opportunity had been too narrow, but I was just getting started. I respawned back at the bag I'd placed and started gathering cloth. This is what we're looking for. I wanted to have multiple sleeping bags by the raid so that I could respawn and quickly return to the action. Oh! 
this just decayed, I guess? There was a small decaying base here, with some rudimentary equipment inside. I grabbed what I could use and headed back towards the raid. Uh, okay, bag one, down. Boom. Close. Oh, he's gonna turn, I knew he was gonna do that. This guy's got nothing. Is he pushing me? Bomb. Double bomb! I killed a fairly geared player in the open. Looting would be dangerous, but could be very worthwhile. I yolo, I yolo, I go, I go, I go, man. I must go, man, buddy. Okay. That's okay. It's okay, it's okay. No way anyone's gonna push that body and I've got a million bags now. All according to plan. Oh no, is this freaking piggy on the body, dude? Heck! Oh buddy, you wanna rat, huh? You like ratting, huh, buddy? No, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> another life, another chance. <laughs> Please don't look at me. I am not here. Nope. Okay. All right, bro. Let's come to an agreement. You want loot. I want loot. I don't mess with you. You don't mess with me. Now, I was not the only person trying to slyly take some loot from this raid. There were other opportunists here. What's your strategy? <laughs> hey. Bro! Stop! <laughs> you good, bro? There was some cheeky banter going on around the raid. This was still very much an ongoing situation. Oh, is it, is it the booga mic? Do you, all right, I don't I don't know what you're talking about, and I don't care, but you think I could get an AK? Uh, uh no, probably not. How about two AKs? Oh, you got a deal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in danger. Hi. Hello. There's no one here, so. I'm the nine divine. Assault! Assault! Yo, nice. Nice, nice. Oh. Dude, this is great, bro. So what's the dealio here anyway? Who's raiding who? Why why is that why is this raid going down? Is there juicy drama or just like They're raiding us. Bro, can you not? Someone had died here with some loot. This was exactly what I was trying to get from this. The plan is to get away with this. It's not gonna get better than this. Do I take off the hazzy? With no hazmat, I might just be seen as a fleeing naked and less worthy of being shot. I got it. No, I didn't. Run, run bro. Take it, run. Big business. Dive in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Beautiful. Okay. Now the hazzy goes on. Now across the river and behind a large rock formation, I put down a bag and stashes to store my loot. Put everything away and then headed back in as a hungry naked once more. Once night hits, oh baby, this is gonna get a little spicy. The sun was going down. Darkness would only intensify the chaos. I sensed a potential major opportunity here. Hold! Oh, they're raiding the raid base! Ah! Full darkness. Perfect. Rockets and a kit. I scurried away into the darkness. It almost swallowed me as my bare feet slapped the ground. <laughs> okay. Behind some more cliffs, I set down another stash. This one with a very valuable cache of seven rockets. A handsome fortune. With all that safely buried, I returned into the fray once more. I lurked around the area as daybreak came, but it began looking like this situation was now well under control. <laughs> hey! Hey, buddy! I'm walking here, you stupid idiot! You look like a freaking gargoyle! You bald-headed toenail! Hey, your name's Ruben. You named after a freaking sandwich. Hey! He's about to shoot. Sensed that the chaos of this raid had now come to an end. <laughs> it was Ruben. And with my stashes of loot, my winnings were solidified. But I was gonna leave them for now. I respawned at the area near my home and went to check on the small base that had been decaying earlier. Oh, someone yoinked. Wait, no, they didn't. No, they didn't. This is good timing right here, actually. Please, no. Please, no. Please, no. Bad dog! With all the items from that small decayed shack, I returned home and fortified my own base.
with some wooden foundations, the skeleton of my base was done. I lost my double barrel in a scuffle, then returned home and secured my tool cupboard with a metal door when night fell. Bang! Now I needed to take a break, so it was a few hours later when I hopped back on. I was going to be joined by my friends Ezrath and Potato Kai. I logged back in and surveyed my home. Rib? Someone had parked a rib boat right next to my base, and these were not cheap. I was quite surprised at that. But my home was at the mouth of a river in a natural bay, so it made sense. Hello. You found a bunch of rockets on a dead guy? I was like in the midst of this raid, uh, and like I kind of just slithered in at the right moment. I explained what had happened with the raid and my stashes to my new teammates. Oh, that... gamers. Hello. Hello. If my stash has been yoinked, I'll be big sad. I'll just slap this down. I then headed over to my first stash where I had stored guns to bag in my friends and gear us all up. Nice. I bagged both you guys. Oh. <laughs> we don't have Hello. a base is what you're saying. Hello. No, we do have a base. I have seven rockets in a stash. Now before we went to go get the rockets in the stash I'd hidden, we decided that we would collect some components. Oh, okay, L9. nope. So oh! Hard, hard pass for me. <laughs> <laughs> On this first loot run, we would start by going to the dome, then the sewer branch, then train yard, and finally home. So my home, you'll see. <laughs> oh no. It's got character. As long as it's quaint, you know? It is, oh, it's very quaint. Oh! Oh. Rockets. Boom. Taking all his yoinks, I'm gonna pick him up and send him on his way. Don't follow me or help me, God, I will end your game of life. <laughs> what the hell did I just tell you? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> he followed. Yeah, I, I was very clear. Pretty much the only gear we currently owned was what we had on us, so we needed to gather anything and everything. With the loot from the dome collected, I opted for a quick descent. Speed running back down isn't as fun. I gotta, gotta stretch down. to get ready for a catch. There's no chance that I miss. Okay. Alright, big. Okay. Oh! You <laughs> You did you, catch uh, me. Pretty good start. We looted the sewer branch and train yard without incident overnight. Goodies! Recycling. Our scrap run was proving very beneficial and proceeding well. We then began winding our way home. Yeah. 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 It's free. I'm starting outpost? to feel like you don't actually have a base, Mel. Base is a it's, generous term. It, target located. Headshot him. Oh, it's boys. Oh, Fork you over your goods. There's Look. charcoal in the box. Yeah. Who are you talking to in Discord, big Give man? Your <laughs> mom. <laughs> <All right. Not laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see this house. <laughs> I showed Ezrath and Potato my palatial palace. Oh, it's not that, is it? This is home. Um, there's a TC and a loot room. Nice! <laughs> we all agreed, however, that it was due for some major renovation. You can bunker it right here. Ezrath began adding a bunker in the outer walls, and I went off to collect some stone to fortify our home. Chatify this base. I will return. This is good. Water view entrance as sort of a cave aesthetic. I like it. We put the finishing touches on securing our base. With our home substantially upgraded, we next decided to really level up our gear by going to the cargo ship. We'd noticed that it had spawned mere moments ago, but we were very low on ammo and supplies, so we would use compound bows and bandages and then put to use whatever we could scavenge from the bodies of scientists once we'd killed them. This was gonna be very tricky. You guys ready to go? Yep. Sounded so legit. What the heck? <laughs> we boarded the rib boat that had been left at my base, and then we set out on the sea. Ahoy there! Uh, uh, <laughs> kind of just loomed out of the fog. It was still just scientists on board. We were likely the first players here. Got all boat fitted on? Alright, cool. Yep. Very angry. Kelly? We'd heard a minicopter right over the ship, but it had disappeared just as fast, and with no signs of any players, this was very odd. Ow. So oh. We got to work on clearing the deck of scientists. I wanted to conserve the meager ammo I had for any potential players coming to counter. A fog began creeping over the ship as the afternoon dwindled into evening. We next headed below deck to fight the scientists down there. 
Headshot him? Oh my god, I can use these. Headshot him? <laughs> He's a porcupine! I, I hit him? My aim potato! Trying to calibrate where they are. There we go! <laughs> he looked like that that one slipknot mask, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. There's one close, oh my god. Oh, okay. I headshot it. Let me get it. He's dead. Oh, okay, I'm dead. Are you actually? Wait, I'm down, I'm down. The two scientists by the bridge of the ship had downed Esrath, but visibility was terrible in the darkness and fog. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, I got empty. Up the fire. stairs. I gotta kill this one. I can't see it! You can get me. Ezrath was dead. It was now only Potato and I, and we needed to clear the remaining scientists and take control of the vessel ASAP. I don't think we're gonna make it if we run up, bro. With almost no meds left, the situation was dire. Ugh. Up front. Did I kill him? I killed the scientist on the roof, now just to eliminate any left inside. Chop, chop Ez, too. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> we then noticed that the rib usually on the back of the boat was missing. Oh! No. I think the heli guys, so they didn't have to buy one, yoinked it. They took it. the rib. A very cheeky move. You can DB it once. Finish him! There's a freaking, like, a beacon of light up here. Oh, man, <laughs> oh, I got a bolt. With all the scientists dead, I looted everything remaining on the deck. We were now waiting for the hackable crates to open and reveal their high tier loot. Three seconds. Bang. Face mask. AK. Yoink. No, right. We have to wait. Now geared but still severely lacking in meds and ammo, Potato and I organized our loot by the captain's bridge. What do you have? Oh. oh. Enemy helicopter inbound. Uh. That's no. One died, one died. Take four ammo. One fell and died, bro. Okay. Potato had seen one of them jump onto the ship and die from fall damage. Go loot him well and as quick as you can. That meant a potentially heavily geared player's body was on the ship. This could be exactly what we needed. They'd peeled off but were circling back. I sprinted down towards the prow of the ship towards the body. They were almost on top of me. Front left, out front. No more. Headshot driver dead! Dispatch, we're going down! We're in the water! <laughs> We'd done it. We'd successfully defended from the helicopter's assault. Woo! AK, AK kit! Big doinks. We consolidated our items and then looted the final crate. There and... Ooh. Oh, crate. I found the bodies. Meanwhile, Ezrath had managed to find out where the scrap helicopter had gone down, and there had been no survivors. Two more kits for us. Full road sign, MP5 SAR. Time to go. I guess. <laughs> Whee! Landed a 360. Let's go! <laughs> With our cargo ship expedition complete, we returned to shore. Under the sea. Under the sea. Everything's better down where it's wetter. <laughs> under the sea. <laughs> Landing. You are now breathing manually. We were well geared and armed now, and feeling much more confident about our position. Wait, who's outside in the water? Well, we're all here, but they don't. Wait, if you're there. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Over the night, we headed to Outpost to do a large recycling mission. What goes best with Chad, man? <laughs> <laughs> we shall go. All these components we found would net us a lot of scrap and raw materials. There appears Welcome. to be a vehicle here, good sir. Ah, uh, stay a while and listen. Hello. Hello. Hello, child. You will one day be a I'm great- I'm a child. You will one day be a great warrior. You are a woman. Yes, I am. You will also be a great warrior because all women can also Here be warriors. Are you a warrior? No. Welcome. I am a farmer. What the Ooh. Ooh. Shut the Ooh. You Ooh. are a. <laughs> sorry, you had to see that. You really went in on Gabriel, dude. Should we go bank? I have 600 scrap. The cheeky player was getting into their car here. A hey, nice car, idiot. I drive a Kia. <laughs> he just hit <laughs> over the side. Oh, are you stuck? Oh, they're dipping. After some shenanigans at the outpost, we went to return home. They might go on the roof. Oh yeah, I'm getting. I'm not gonna peek that roof. We can go low. I bolted once in a month. There was a big base here, not far from where we lived, and they were on their roof with rifles. We made a note of this. We then deposited everything back at base. It was now the moment of truth. Armed and armored, we made our way to see if the rockets I'd stashed were still there. So this <laughs> is the pumpkin pub. Sounds epic. 
corn hut. We trekked to where I'd placed my rocket stash and had to pass some large bases on the way. I'm oh. headshot. Hold on. There one, there's twice, three times. I'm hurt. He's inside, I saw him. Yep, yep, there he is. Oh, I got tagged Dead. twice. After a brief skirmish, we skirted a large active base and made for the stash. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that base? It was all here. I was relieved. This would be a major boost towards any raid we wanted to attempt. And our nearby neighbors with their rifles were certainly on our minds. Oh wait, this is the this is the base where the guy roof camp. With all the rockets, we beelined back home. We put everything away, then saw that a hackable crate had been dropped at the train yard. It would be a few minutes before it opened, so we made our way over there to try to claim it for ourselves. I might get on recycler building. Gamer position. I'm up. How is up? Check that first, oh, that hell first crane. He's oh, there, I see him. There. Twice. He's pushing farther away. 240. Okay. Oh, I'm dead to LR. Oh. Once. Your crate just opened. There was another scrappy group here. We were going to have to fight tooth and nail for this crate. Twice. He hit me also twice. Not a full. Oh, oh LR peeking. Oh. I, I, well, one guy's under the train. Where are you? Again? The balcony. Headshot him. Yep. Yep. He went right. Once. He's, he's, he's behind, back. he's behind concrete. I killed the one down below. Target spotted. He doesn't know I'm here. I'm gonna, he's gonna open. He's coming out. Oh, nope. Dead, dead, dead. Nice. We wiped the other group and had grabbed the crate. Uh, heli? But now the attack helicopter was entering the fray. I don't have the meds to take it. We had bled our ammunition and meds dry on our battle versus the other group. Utilizing anything we had left, we were gonna try to double down and destroy the helicopter as well. Rocket, goodbye, potato. Goodbye, dude. All right, should I yoink you guys' stuff? Yeah. Oh, we didn't die yet. Oh, I can't. Oh my god, fire. I'm gonna get in the recycler building. Rockets. Alright, I'm gonna try to send it, I guess. Oh. Got it, got it! Nice! Let's go, boys. I have. Jesus! Wait until we can get out of the fire. By the skin of our teeth, we downed the helicopter. We took a moment to catch our breath after that intense fight. Oh my god, that was the most stressful heli. <laughs> um, here's... there? We guarded the helicopter wreckage, then moments later the crates unlocked. Someone opened the first one and then based on their oh, luck... M9. Classic. Um, I, I almost threw up. Um. Oh, rocket C4. Did you hear that, right? Me trying to blow on it? Oh, oh, that was you. <laughs> AK, all right. With some powerful explosives and weapons, we returned home victorious. We did some housekeeping and began smelting the resources we accumulated. I then researched some blueprints using the scrap we had. Our explosives box was also beginning to look quite formidable. I further geared up with what we'd won from the fight and we set out to roam the map looking for trouble. It wasn't long before we found it. Rocket, south. What, really? South? Yeah. yeah, yeah oh, yeah. yep. Is that the in the tree? Wow. As we neared where we had roughly heard the rockets, they'd stopped shooting and the trail went cold. We couldn't find the base that was being raided, so we decided to split up and survey the surrounding area to cover more ground. Now before long, Ezrath saw something that piqued his interest. This might be it. There's a car, a fully armored car out here. If it's the freaking car men. This was the same exact car build as the heavily geared toxic player we'd seen at Outpost earlier. This is it. Oh, you hear them? I heard people inside just now, I think, jump on right. metal. This was the raid. We're coming. Boom. This is how it's gonna play out. One's gonna push out the check for me, and I'm gonna kill him, he's coming out now. He's gonna have the key. One of us is gonna take the bang bus back to get the booms. We're gonna bop <laughs> it open. One's full dead. It sounds good. Another one shut the door, one's full dead. Another one tripled. Here. I can fold deep. What? We're almost there. Hit the other one twice. There's three? Yeah. He shut the door. Okay. Got him. He grabbed his gun, but I killed him. This guy, I have the key. I have the. <laughs> you do? Great. It went through. How did you get armored. up? Okay. Should I shoot? Oh my Good. god. Yeah, you weren't Your kidding. Call. I have the key? Start the car and move it a yeah. little bit. Okay. And then maybe they'll open and we can kill him. Killed the final one, then pushed into secure. There was a lot more loot in here as well. Yeah, I got a bunch of 5-5, five five. I can break this. 
Those bodies out there, potato. We need to make it. Ten easy. satchels. Oh my god! What? Come check the car. Oh! The car was chock full of top tier gear and sulfur for explosives. Oh. Ah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, guys. That's a nice stash. Who Pain. turned the car on? The car is not. <laughs> <laughs> this was a huge come up. We stuffed our inventories and then made our getaway in their car. These guys, one of whom had been so cheeky at outpost earlier, were not happy. We wound our way along the roads back towards base, and then went off-road for the final portion of our trip. I think we're stuck, maybe. Oh, now we're stuck. All right. Look the depot, we'll come back real quick, we'll be fine. Now back at home, we did some more upgrades, turning our base into a stronghold. We had a substantial amount of explosives now, and that group we had seen earlier in the base nearby was likely our biggest threat. All of our upgrades would attract their attention. I'd love to see it. So we wanted to hit them before they could hit us. We were about to go scope out their base when we heard the attack helicopter return once more. This time, we were not scrounging at scraps to fight it. We were gonna face it head on and blast it out of the sky. It's behind the trees. You want Up to be right, right there? Ditch. Slap her down. Slap. Big slap. Big slap. I will double do well. Run, it's gonna rocket. Oh, the pig is angry at me! Oh, it's not rocketing. Oh, the deer and the pig are fighting! Oh, no, what the hell? I am going to be in. Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Be a bit mad. Hey! We faced little opposition in our takedown, so we looted it for more explosives and an M249. Uh, yoink. Was it M2? No. Yoink! Yeah, yep. We banked it home, then embarked on the reconnaissance mission on our roof-dwelling neighbor's base. Sneaky for now. I ran just uphill to our hopefully juicy raid target. Where's the broom? <laughs> Looking at him in his helmet, just like... <laughs> Maybe the opposite side over here, I bet. We poked and prodded at it, but found few weaknesses. We were just gonna muscle through and blow in from the side. We geared up, gathered all our rockets, satchels, and C4, then headed out. I could use a little the ammo as well. We have the satchels, all the satchels. Shut up, clock in, and load up. Ooh, it's gonna be night, I think. As we approached, Potato gave us some words of encouragement. Our adventurers are on the way to raid. What will happen? Stick around to find out. I'm gonna get rocketed, I already know it. <laughs> that put me in the gamer zone. It would be best to do this side. It didn't seem like anyone was home. Hopefully this well-deserved eviction brought us some good loot. Burn! This was our plan. We were gonna use our incendiary rockets here to burn down the wooden external walls. Then, once inside, we would blast in on the far side. It was opposite from the entrance, and thus likely closer to the tool cupboard. This is like an inferno right now. Ah, oh god, yeah. no. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, these foundations aren't high. Okay. Wait, I'm checking it's... real quick. We lined up our shots to where we could do the most damage. All the way from my hidden stash, I was finally putting my rockets to use. Shooting rockets? Let's go. Turn your light. Yep, come back. I, we can. There you go. Thank you. Oh, it's okay. stone. We pummeled the honeycomb. The inner layer was not as heavily fortified as we had assumed. Nice. Okay. There we go. We got a loot room. We have loot already. We'd exposed the first loot room, and this looked like an auxiliary storage area, but there was a lot in here. If this was secondary storage, the core was gonna be loaded. Bottom. I think Working quickly, we next blasted through the garage door that accessed this loot room. There were armored walls here, very tanky. We were gonna continue destroying the garage doors that wrapped around. It would be cheaper. Six rockets won't get us through the high walls. I'll, I'll hit that top far corner. I agree. Uh, okay. Armored. A sleeping player. We were close to it all now. My... He needs some milk! Doesn't really matter where you head. Up or down, and then... I splashed the wall and doors with some more rocket fire. Is it really? Another loot room? Oh, a ton of resources here. We tossed a C4 and satchels to get into what looked like the inner sanctum of this base. 
Oh, oh, I don't know why oh. I did that. <laughs> we broke the shotgun trap and inspected the spoils. Oh, a huge amount of explosives, components, and guns. We made back way more than we had put into this. Two M24, oh, three M249s. We slapped down a tool cupboard and we secured the breach with our own door. And just in time, we heard some cheeky footsteps outside moments later. There was someone right outside though. We broke down the doors into the secondary loot rooms. There was so much here. This had been a decent sized base, but it was clear that they had been mopping up everyone else in the area. If we hadn't hit them, I was sure that we would have been next on the chopping block. That's sort of nice. We took an inventory load each of some of the best stuff and then went to return home. Do we have too much at this point? We have to. <laughs> like, spread some guns out to deserving parties. We wanted to spread our newfound wealth around a bit. We had more than enough loot for any remaining adventures. The pumpkin pub. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> the pumpkin pub. Then I remembered the humble little base we'd seen earlier. Perfect. We were going to reverse raid it. Blast in, load up their boxes with top tier equipment, and then seal it back up like nothing happened. They'll have no idea we were even there. A little bit of armor. With a bunch of materials and gear, we ran up there. Well, we can just stuff their boxes. Pumpkin pub. Well, I would actually... <laughs> Oh, perfect. We filled up their boxes with loot, and then I wrote them a little note. Hello. Thank you for your hospitality. I enjoyed my time in the pumpkin pub. I'll just give oh, my kit. Okay. Before leaving, I also painted a sign to memorialize our trip to the pumpkin pub. Now, with all my gear deposited here, I stepped back out into the sunshine and grabbed my hammer. Seal them up. Oh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm currently live streaming on my Twitch. Come say hi and let me know what you thought of the adventure. Also, give me a follow on my Twitter and my Instagram. And go follow my thumbnail artist as well. This has been your friend Wellen at the end of another exciting tale. I'll see you next time.